Tell me about the Flash Futures End issue number one. That is going to be a huge issue. Yeah, when we took over Flash, uh, we knew from the beginning that Futures End was going to be happening in September. And so we wanted to craft a story that would make that issue a part of the story. So what we did was we wrote the story where you have Barry Allen moving in the, towards the future and future Flash coming back from the future and they're going to collide. Wally is the reason why they're clashing at this particular moment in time. Barry doesn't know that, future Flash does. There's been a, an event with the Speed Force. The Speed Force has become ruptured in a way. And so now whenever Barry uses his powers, he runs somewhere at super speed, he loses time. He comes back and he's lost a minute or five minutes. This is what Future Flash knows, and so he's coming back to try to repair this rupture and heal the Speed Force. And so Barry, over these five year span, has been dealing with that. And in doing so in the original continuity for him, Wally West ended up dying in one of those gaps. And that's what Future Flash is trying to present. Some of my favorite stuff in comics is when a future and a present version of the characters meet sure, yeah. and seeing the artwork that actually comes out of that. Tell me about working with Brett and Norm on this one. Amazing, yeah. Brett designed a really cool costume for Future Flash. You know, there's gadgets and tech. It has this blue look to it that Andrew Dollhouse has done really well with. And it, it offsets the bright red of Barry. And also, the Speed Force itself is represented differently. Barry is often seen with yellow bolts coming off of him. Future Flash is there more blue, which again hints at sort of the problem in the Speed Force and what's going wrong with it. So, you know, Brett is a, is a really versatile guy. Uh, he just turned in a cover for issue 36 that has a Flash running from a dinosaur, you know. So, <laughs> there's a. What? Yeah, so there's like a, just a lot of really cool stuff. We have so much fun doing the series. The future may be coming to an end, but DC All Access shows no signs of stopping. So, if you guys want to keep up with everything going on in the world of DC, make sure you subscribe to DC All Access. And if you want even more in depth news, check out the DC All Access Bulletin on DCComics.com. Now, how will we keep doing the show if the future literally ends? Well, we haven't quite figured that out yet, but we're working on it.